In this video, we're taking a look at the new speech to text feature in the new version of Adobe Premiere Pro. So if you're unsure what speech to text is, it's a great feature for actually adding captions to your video. So you'll have seen it on social media when you have text above a video. And normally you have to do this manually, but this is a brand new feature within Adobe Premiere Pro and it will automatically detect all of your speech and turn it into text that you can either use for your social media videos or for captions in professional broadcast outputs. So let's jump into Premiere and I'll show you how this works. So the way this works, just simply open up your text panel. You can find it here in Window and then you can click Create Transcription. Then this box will appear. So for this example, I'll click Audio 1 because that's where the speech audio is. You also have a few other options such as this, which is audio clips tagged as dialogue. Now to do this, select your audio track, go over to Essential Sound Panel, and here you can label the clip as dialogue. Now this tells Adobe Premiere that this is the dialogue. So you can select this in the text panel. But it all really depends on your type of workflow and project. So I've chosen Audio 1, and now I'll choose my language as English. You can also actually choose from 12 other language options too. So you can transcribe the in and out points only, or if you want to, you can opt for Adobe Premiere to recognize the entire sequence, and it will actually pick out different speakers as well. Now, in this example, it's only me speaking, so I'm not gonna select that option. So now, this will generate the caption for you using Adobe Sensei. Oh, and you have to be connected to the internet for this to work, of course. But from here, this will auto-generate your whole sequence, and then you can go in and edit any of the words you like. You can do this by double-clicking the text, and then you can fix things like capital letters, punctuation, and then you can adjust errors that Premiere Pro might have made. But honestly, in my opinion, in our experience using this on a few videos, Adobe is doing a great job at picking up almost all the words pretty accurately. But you know, there will be times, of course, when Adobe won't understand certain words, maybe due to your accent, or like me, maybe how fast you've said the words. So here I've said the word to, but Adobe thought it was the word tape. And here you can see where I said return key, it's written this out as with tank, which is weird. So make sure to look out for these mistakes before exporting. So you can also search through your transcripts. Now, if you've said a word a lot of times, so for example, in this video, I know I've said the word keyboard probably a hundred times or so. So in this, I can type it in here and just see if the spelling is okay. Now, this is also good maybe if you've said someone's name, a website, or a company name. So you can change it to a capital letter or just check if Adobe has spelt it right. Also, let's just say you've done a two hour interview with someone and you remember at some point they were talking about American football. You can use this feature, type in American football, and that will take you to that part of the video and actually take your timeline to that area of the video. So it's actually a handy tool for finding certain parts of your video without making any notes or notes of time codes, for example. The last thing you can do with editing the transcript is you can actually display the pauses in your video as three dots. However, this video has already been cut where all of the pauses, as and ums have been removed, so I'm not going to use this. But it's definitely something to think about in case you want any of this in certain parts of your edit. Now, once you're happy with the whole transcript, you can do a few extra things. So if you click this icon, you can now see the transcript as a text file too. And then when you're done, you can click Create Captions right here. Then this box will appear and you'll have some selections. So for the first option, I'm going to use the default as that fits the style that I want for my video. You can also import presets and change the style of the captions. Then you can change the maximum length in characters, the duration and the gaps between captions. And then lastly, you can choose whether you want it single or double lined. Personally, I like it double lined, so I'm gonna go for that right now. So let's click create. Now, you can see the subtitle track above here in your sequence and all of the timestamps and captions in your text panel. Now, if you click any piece of the text in the panel, it will take you to that caption. Now, you can go even further and edit the caption more by selecting the caption and then going over to your essential graphics panel. And this is where you can change the font, 
the size, the appearance, you can even add a shadow and a background. Now, when you've done that, you can apply this to every caption by going to this option here, which is called Track Style, and select Create Style Name. And now this will be applied to the whole video. Then you'll see what you've just created saved in your project panel right here. So you can actually right click this and export this text style. Then you can drag it onto your project panel each time you start a new project. So when you caption it, it will appear in your track style. Really handy if you wanna keep with a certain style of branding. Now, if you decide to change your style, just click this arrow here and this will apply it to every caption. The captions on the timeline work just like normal clips. So you can move them around, you can make them shorter or longer, and you'll also have to just go through your video and make sure that each one is finely tuned and in the right place, just so they match the timing perfectly with the speaker. Now, you can't actually add any more effects on top of these captions, but that would definitely be a cool feature for Adobe to add in the future. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. Now, let's go on to exporting. There are two ways you can export the captions, and you can export them separately by going to this box here and exporting it as an SRT file. And if you want captions burnt into the video, you'll need to go to File, Export, and then go to Captions, and select Burn Captions into the video, and then of course, finally, Export. There we go, so that's a little look at this new speech to text feature. Now I think this is so cool. There's been so many videos where we've had to manually go in and type out the transcripts as we're talking, and that can be really time consuming. So even if this does make a few errors, this will make the process so much easier than before. And I really think it's worth pointing out, if you're making videos for social media, you know, uh, social channels like YouTube, most people will have the audio on. But if you're making maybe client videos for Facebook or Instagram, they're platforms where people will generally have the audio off when they play their video. So captions are so important. And LinkedIn as well. And you also wanna you know, make sure your videos are viewed by as many people as possible. And you know, adding captions really helps anyone with any kind of hearing disabilities too. So it's definitely worth looking at you know, captions when you create your videos and this makes it so much easier. But anyway, let me know what you think of this in the comments section below. Hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.